The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind is one of the best video games ever made. And what if I told you right now that the footage you're currently seeing is running on a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra? Yeah, this game can run on mobile incredibly easily. Now, I made a video about this a couple of years ago, and at the time, it was a little bit difficult to get it all up and running. But now, it's incredibly simple. Oh, we have our first enemy. Hello. Okay, we're just going to aim at this guy and... Release. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Got ya. Okay. <laughs> and here you have it. This is all running on a Galaxy, as I said. Uh, this is the S23 Ultra using a GameSir X2 Pro controller. And as you guys can see, it runs flawlessly. I'm getting constant 60 on this, and I have the settings to maximum. And this is gonna run on pretty much anything you throw at that's come out in the last five years or so. And that is absolutely incredible, because not only does it run on here, but it also runs on this. This is the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. This is one of the best emulator handhelds you can currently get your hands on, and it's absolutely amazing. But it runs Android, uh, so I put it on here. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it runs absolutely fantastically. There's my uh, weird looking head. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Yeah, the character models in Morrowind aren't fantastic, but as you can see, everything runs pretty damn well on here. Now, I will say that on this, it doesn't run at a constant 60. You're looking at about 40 FPS, but the fact you can play this at a higher frame rate that you could on the original Xbox is pretty damn amazing. So a couple of little things you've got on here. You do also have uh, touch screen controls as well. Uh, which are okay. Personally, I wouldn't use them. I just connect a controller to this. They definitely get the job done, but they aren't amazing. One nice thing, though, is you can actually use your finger, as you can see there. So I can actually go through and click inventory items and pick them out straight from the inventory, which is really nice. But you're probably wondering, how do you actually get this up and running on Android? And I'm going to walk you through that right now. So, first things first, you're going to need a copy of Morrowind. Now, as luck has it, it's currently on sale. You can get the Game of the Year edition on Good Old Games for the grand total of £5.19, which is very good. But let's say you're not on Good Old Games, well, you can also head over to Steam, and the game is currently £12.99. So, yeah, highly recommend Good Old Games, because also, Good Old Games comes with a couple of extra fixes. So, all you need to do right now is go to the folder where you install the game. So as you can see, I currently have it here. We're going to open that up quickly and you can see all of these files in here. Now there's going to be a couple in here that aren't in the Steam version. It's absolutely fine. Just dump them in. It doesn't really matter. Open up your phone or whatever Android device you're using in Windows and then you're going to want to create two folders just to make things a little bit easier. So the first one you want to make is APK and the second one you want to make is Morrowind. So if I open up Morrowind, as you can see here, I've got all of the files that were in the original Morrowind folder copied into here, and that's what you're going to want to do. Now, this takes a long time. Just leave it to do its thing. It looks like it's going to take about 15 hours. It takes about an hour. I don't know why it takes so long, because it's only about two gigabytes, but it takes a long time. So give it about an hour. And then, of course, you have your APK folder. In the link in the description below, I've left a link to this. This is OMW, or Open Microwave. You're going to want to click on this and drag and drop the file that you download into that APK folder inside your phone. So in theory, the APK folder should look like this. And you're done. That, that's really it. And that goes for the Retroid as well. Any Android device is exactly the same. So apart from the fact it takes an absolute age to transfer over the files, it works amazingly. So once you have everything installed on the system, all you have to do is go to internal storage, go to where your APK folder is that I said to make, click on that, click on this. It will then ask you to give permission, which you do, um, and then you hit install and it's all installed and done. Of course, I've already got this installed, so I can't do it again. Then you want to open up the app itself, go to game files, and then you want to point it to your Morrowind folder. So there it is, that's the Morrowind folder, and hit select, and you're done. So there's a couple of different settings you can change inside of here, um, and I would highly recommend 
going down to physics FPS. And now, if you have a newer phone like me, I would set this to 60. But if you have something a little bit slower, set this to 30, and that should work absolutely fine. You can also go into here and turn off uh, different on-screen controls. So if you don't want any of this stuff on the screen, you can turn it off, you can move it around, which is really nice. And this even has mod support, so you can put plugins into here. Now, I haven't tested this, but in theory, you should be able to toggle on and off mods. And that is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to toggle all of these on because they weren't already toggled on. And then we're going to back out of there. And then we're going to go into the game itself by pressing play. And as you can see there, it's going to load. Now, to get rid of this menu, which will always be there unless you turn it off in the menu, is to go up to here and press the mouse key and then press that to get rid of that. And there you go. Uh, as you can see, we've got all the content running. Uh, now, this starting screen, for some reason, is always in 4x3. But once you go into the game itself, it should be absolutely fine. Now, another really nice thing is that it gives you the option to go in here and modify controller controls. Uh, so, personally, I've changed a couple of things. But it registers that you have a fully working controller, which is really nice. And you can also go into here and go to video and you can set up different things like your um, resolution, aspect ratio. Uh, you can change it to full screen, which I highly recommend. And then you can go in here and change the view distance if you have a more powerful phone um, and also turn on and off the water shaders and stuff like that. And then we're just gonna go to load. We're gonna go to my character here and then double tap and we are in that quickly. And yeah, you have the full game. It's fully working. So basically all you need is the Game of the Year edition on good old games or Steam and just drag and drop. It's really that simple. And all the links are going to be in the description below for the GitHub to be able to download OMW. So yeah, that is Morrowind running on a phone. Uh, I can't quite believe it, but there you go. And it's a damn sight easier than it was a couple of years ago. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, share it with your friends. But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, you guys. Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, yeah! <laughs>